It's fair to say she got a massively positive reaction <coughs> across different parties, just the fact she's 20 years of age, she went in there in that really scary stage, mm. and she, she owned it, didn't she? She absolutely did, and you're right, it's so unlike me to want to watch anything political, um, especially coming from the House of Parliament, but she... I saw it online and everyone was talking about it, so I clicked on and she had me for the whole speech. I was there. She's the first MP that I've listened to that I understood everything she was saying. <laughs> she made sense. And yes, it may sound patronising, but the fact that she was 20, because yeah. nowadays the main 20-something-year-olds we see are a lot of the ones from reality telly yeah. who, you know, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Always have yeah, those discussions. Yeah. Are they a good example for our kids and all of that? And she was just a perfect example to mm. to all of us, really, and really got me engaged in what yeah. she was saying. Yeah, I think I think I think that's the thing. Obviously, you know, you have people on reality TV, and they do represent a certain demographic, but not all. And I think it is important that young people are fairly represented. That they are, you know, there are intelligent. People yeah. not saying everyone on reality TV. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's stop that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I, I yeah. think I think it is very important for me. You know, there are very few p young people in the public eye that I want my daughters to emulate and to want to be like. But someone like Mari Black, I'm like, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm cool I with mean, that. I mean, it's interesting because a lot of the media is controlled <laughs> by middle-aged people. Yeah, and so it's a lot of middle-aged people who are often making the decisions to portray them in that negative exactly. sense. You know, where it's almost cool to be a bit dim, mm. you know, mm. and whereas I think she makes it cool to be clever, but exactly. she's pushed up from the bottom. She's made, she's got herself elected by people in a really democratic vote, so she's not being controlled. I don't think the media is controlled by older people anymore. It I is. think the number of people who are editing newspapers and magazines has actually uh, gone down, and I think the most important thing about her election is that it changes the demographic of the Houses of Parliament, and I said before the election, I thought the voting age should go down from 18 to 16 and of course it did go down for the Scottish referendum and then went back up for the general election and Cameron turned down lowering the voting age which I think is a big mistake I mean I really really think that we've got to give 16 year olds the vote because not only are women un underrepresented in the House of Commons, all sorts of minorities are, are underrepresented and young people are just part of those underrepresented <laughs> yeah. So do you think more people like Mary Black, younger people, less the kind of grey-suited sort of classic establishment figure could reinvigorate politics? I think it's important for that to happen. I think that, you know, we do all need to feel represented within the Houses of Parliament. You're, you know, you're controlling... You know, you're controlling the people. Well, we all want to be represented. We all need to see ourselves within that environment. Yeah, you've got the opportunity, vote. Vote and join a political party. It's a democracy. Anyone can get involved. But but yeah. when you don't see yourself represented, do you think that that's a place where you belong? Are, um, are you going to go for that job if you don't believe you belong there? <sighs> Getting a bit political. Sorry. <laughs>